Hello, I'm Alan Holtham. I'm going to show you some unique power tools from the Maffel range. Maffel have been producing power tools in southern Germany for well over a hundred years. And they're now a market leader in the manufacture of carpentry machines. 85% of the components are manufactured in-house and only the finest quality raw materials are used. Over their long history they've always maintained close contact with end users and this has allowed them to develop machines with unique features that help you to work more efficiently. For example the new Cuprex motors these provide enormous torque and constant speed even under heavy load. They're also lighter and more compact than conventional motors making them less tiring to use. There are lots of other exceptional features on these tools so let's take a closer look. This is the DD40 Duo Dowler, a tool specifically designed for jointing a variety of different materials either in the workshop or on site. It uses standard wooden dowels. Now the advantage of dowels is they produce a really strong joint. The disadvantage is it's very difficult to get perfect alignment of the holes in the two different components. This is no problem with the Duo Dowler. I'll show you how. For a start, the DD40 drills two holes at once at a spacing of 32 millimeters. The depth of the hole can be adjusted from 0 to 40 millimeters, and the zero point is adjustable to compensate for tool wear and resharpening. The angle of the fence can also be adjusted up to 90 degrees, and the most commonly used angles have indexing stops. To ensure precision, it locks securely on both columns with just a single knob. There are a lot of other features on this tool as well to help with the precision. It will be much easier to show you these when we actually start making joints. I'm going to show you four different joints. An end to end joint, an edge joint, a 45 degree joint and then a bevel joint. So let's start with a straightforward end to end joint. To position the joint you could just draw a line across it and then use this to line up with the mark in the window. However, this requires you to be really precise with the marking or the joint will not line up properly. To make this foolproof, the DD40 has two spring loaded stops. So all you have to do is press in one stop with the work, slide it across against the other stop and then drill. Repeat for the other side with a second piece. Provided you always work from the face side and the face edge on each piece the holes will be perfectly aligned. Another advantage is that you don't have to clamp the workpiece. Just lay it on the non-slip mat which is provided with the tool. Place the DD40 on the work slide it across against the stop and then drill. Notice how you hold the fence on the work with your thumb and press against the end of the tool with the other hand to drill. I demonstrated that quite slowly but once you become familiar with the tool it's actually very very quick and look how precise this is. Push those together, you can see perfect alignment and you can also see the advantage of two dowels, that joint is totally stable. Next I'm going to show you an edge to edge joint, for this we're going to use four dowels. Drill the first two holes as before, then reposition the work and drill the second two. The trick here is not to drill from either end of the work but instead drill the first two holes and then use these as a location on the spring loaded pin pushing it tight against the pin to drill the next ones The more dowels you have, 
the more precise you have to be. But you can see here, even with four dowels, everything lines up perfectly. So next, we're going to look at a 90 degree joint. In this situation, it may be that with the standard stops, the drill will actually come through the side of the workpiece near to the narrow end. To overcome this, the DD40 is supplied with additional stops to offset the holes. Using these, there is then no danger of the drill breaking through the side of the work. And there are a variety of different sized stops to suit different applications. Then swap the stop onto the other side and drill the second workpiece. We're all familiar with the problem of trying to glue up a mitre joint. It always moves when you apply the clamps. You can see here, with our two dowels, we've got perfect alignment. There's no danger of that moving when we clamp up. Finally, we're going to do what's normally a very tricky job and join two pieces on a bevel. Start by adjusting the fence to the required angle using the work as a guide and then lock it securely but now we have the same problem of the drill possibly breaking through the side of the work so move the fence in as close as possible and the holes will then be perfectly centered Just watch how quick this can be when you become really familiar with the tool. A perfect joint every time. So far we've only used the dowler on narrow work pieces, as for instance in a frame. So how do you use the DD40 on wide panels? You can drill the two holes at either side of the panel using the spring-loaded stops for location. But how do you accurately locate the centre ones? There are some alignment marks on the base plate, so you can work to a pencil line. But a much better option is to use the 800mm long template guide that Mafel provide as an accessory. This secures with a simple clamping system. The zero point is automatically fixed according to the edge you're working from. To position it correctly, make a mark with a pencil at either end, align it with these marks, and then clamp securely. The DD40 has a matching profile on both the base and fence that interlocks precisely on the template guide. So you can then repeat the same 32mm spacing on all the other panels. For the holes on the face of the panel, you cannot use the width of the template guide for marking, as the material thickness may vary. Instead, mark off the base of the DD40 directly, then 
position the template on these marks, one at either end, and drill as before. You can mark the top of the template to get the same central position each time. And once again, it all lines up perfectly. If you're fitting several internal shelves or dividers, use the template guide in exactly the same way. If the shelf needs to be set back, the position of the zero point can be adjusted accordingly on the template guide. So that's the DD40 and how it works. For really large pieces, you can extend the template guide rail to 2.4 meters and then hold it in place with these clumps. Dual dowel systems are available to take cutters from 3 to 16 millimeters in diameter. They're all supplied in a carrying case which contains everything you need for use in the workshop or on site. Just grab the case and go. That was just one of the unique tools from Mafal. For more information, contact your nearest dealer or log on to the website. Mafal, built by professionals for professionals. If you've used a jigsaw, you'll know they can often be very frustrating tools to use. For a start, it's difficult to make straight and precise cuts, and curves are another tricky area as well. The cut will often end up at a distinct angle. The P1CC machine from Mafel has been specifically designed to overcome all the problems of a conventional jigsaw. The powerful 900 watt Cuprex motor delivers constant speed and torque no matter what the material you're cutting. There's a variable speed facility that allows you to vary the stroke rate to suit the material being worked. Now most of the difficulties of a conventional jigsaw occur with the guide system. If you look closely at this machine you can see it doesn't have the conventional system. So how does it work? Mafel have invented a completely new blade clamping system. With its unique wedging action, the Cumex blade clamping system grips the blade really securely with no chance of any side-to-side -side movement. Conventional systems rely on side pressure guides. These rub on the blade and will overheat it and reduce the life considerably. We don't have any side pressure guides on this machine. There's also no rear roller. Rear rollers rely on the back of the blade being machined at exactly 90 degrees. Very few blades are machined to this accuracy. As soon as they rest against the roller, the cut will go off at an angle. This blade is held so securely there is no need for that rear roller. Although there is no rear roller, we do still need the pendulum action. Mafel have taken that away from the blade and built it within the main body of the saw itself which gives much more reliable performance. There's a selector here that allows us to vary the amount of orbit on the saw blade. And the real advantage of this system is that it doesn't start operating until you actually touch the blade onto the material, so there's no danger of scratching the material when you first start off the cut. Another benefit of this quick change blade system is that the blade stays in place until you're actually ready to remove it. And also now, because we don't have that rear roller, 
we can take the blade out, turn it round, lock it back in place and now we can work from the underside of the material using the full support from the length of the base plate. This is great for cutting out small notches on the corner of your work. So let's have a close look now at the base plate itself. One of the key features on a jigsaw is the quality of the base plate and you can see on this Maffel jigsaw the base plate is really wide which ensures stability and makes sure also that we end up with a perfect 90 degree cut. The base plate itself is a heavy substantial die casting which has been accurately machined so you can use it either up against a guide system or against the side of your hand and underneath there's an integrated non-scratch surface as well. This lever here allows me to vary the position of the base plate relative to the blade so I can slide it right the way forward and now cut right up to an edge. You can also remove the base entirely just slacken off the lever, pull it back and the two halves will separate and now you can see the precision of the machining work on this machine. This is what ensures that 100% total accuracy with a 90 degree cut. Now, demands on a jigsaw when you're cutting an angle compared with cutting straight are totally different. Most jigsaws incorporate a swivel base adjustment so you can cut at an angle. Maffel have recognised that demands are different and rather than compromise a machine, have set it up with two separate bases. We have this high precision 90 degree base which is relatively narrow and also allows us to get the machine close to the work so we've got a low centre of gravity which again aids accurate cutting. But for angles there's a separate tilting base plate. The saw unit sits in in exactly the same way and locks with a lever on the side. And now we can select any angle up to a maximum of 45 degrees of tilt. But look now even when I tilt it to 45 degrees, with this really wide base plate, the saw doesn't topple over and we can get really accurate cuts. There's an indent position at 22.5 degrees. Also, I can remove the base and turn it round to get precisely the same angle from the other side. So we've seen all the innovations Maffel have made to allow you to cut accurately with a standard blade. However, they've gone one step further and developed a whole new blade. This is a Cunex blade. It's effectively two blades joined together. It's really strong and really rigid. If you look at the profile, you can see it's tapered. It's wider at the cutting edge than it is at the back. This allows you to cut straight and curves really accurately. You can see the strength of the blade goes right up into the tang. Because of the form of this blade, you can use it to cut really accurately with the Maffel track system. So let's have a look at that now. The Maffel track system has a tongue machined along the length. And there's a matching groove in the base of the jigsaw. You can use the two together like that, but you can see it's not fully supported. However the jigsaw comes with a glider and this just snaps into position on the base of the jigsaw and now you can see when I make my straight cut it's fully supported and going to be very much more accurate. You can use the parallel guide along with the track. You can see the parallel guide is flush to the base of the jigsaw and you can use this in one of three ways. Again, put it over the tongue of the track and provide support by holding down the parallel guide. You can fit the parallel guide over the tongue on the track and cut in the same way again with total support. Or you can use it with the base plate sitting directly on the work. To cut a parallel strip off the side of your workpiece, you again need the parallel guide. Just flip this open, lock it in position, slide it into the side of the saw, set the width you require, lock it up and now make your cut. 
to cut a perfect circle where the edges are vertical and the cut meets perfectly you can again use the parallel guide. If I slide that out you can see there are two pivot points contained within it. To use the 8mm one push it into position on the parallel guide. We now need to drill an 8mm hole in the middle of the workpiece and also an 8mm hole to start the cut off. Slide the guide into position, drop the pin into the hole, adjust the width you want, lock it up tight and now you can make your cut. The P1CC features a very clever dust extraction system integrated into the base of the tool. On most jigsaws there's just a simple blower that pushes the sawdust forward. On this machine air is generated within the motor itself is channeled through the base and across the face of the blade into this dust extraction port and then down the length of the base inside. So you can use the machine connected to a dust extractor using this connector which just slots into the base. However, because the extraction is so efficient, you can use it without the, that connection. In which case you can use a simple chip deflector to prevent the sawdust being blown up back up against you. And that just slots in position like that. However, if you want to use the machine upside down, the sawdust is now being blown up into your face. So take out the chip deflector, turn it over, slot it back in place and now you can work without the sawdust being blown back up at you. As you'd expect there's an anti-splinter shoe for tear free cuts on veneered surfaces and this just slips in to position and presses home. The unique feature about this one though it has a very slight radius so there's positive pressure right up against the blade to ensure that chip free surface. There's also